the jet head and the glass shield are two separate units. The only connection between the blast shield and the resonating motors and jet head are uh, the bolt that goes through the steering head and the um, spark plug wires. The electrical system is basically on the blast shield along with the fuel system. Okay, I'm trying to get a shot of that in there. The fingers, I must be. Yeah, okay, there we go. Okay, we got the bolt and with the bolt head on top. Now I'm going to take that off and I'm going to put that right in, right in there. Well, what I've got for safekeeping. They have a multitude of uh, grounds and everything needs to be electrically bonded. Uh, anyway, okay, now I'll pull this out of here. I'll make sure that's in the right spot to ground there. And this goes in here. And kind of, I guess, line it up. And this bolt here goes in there. Goes down through there. And then this bolt try to get more of the machine in here. We have the jet head and the uh, and then the blast shield back there. We need to put a fuel tank in there and I'm going to show that here. The fuel tank on here next so I need to get in a good spot here so we have an orientation. There is our fuel tank area and I'll show you the how you would put the fuel. We'll need to uh, remove this pin and the reason why we don't is the hinge is up here. Now if you have a different type of motor that you're using or something to where all your umbilicals and stuff don't go through that area, which they normally will. Uh, you just open up this end here and I'll show you what that amounts to. Now in order to uh, put the fuel tank into the, the uh, blast shield, we have to use we're, this pin here to pull this pin out. Right there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put the uh, put the fuel tank in. I'm going to leave a put my bottle in there. So, okay, here again I put my uh, my seat unit back down there. Put my pin in, and it's not a high-tech pin, so it's got a nut on the end. The uh, the gas. Now the fuel line comes from the from the jet head right here, and uh, and you screw that into the uh, right into the fuel tank there. Okay, then you'll, you'll need a wrench on that and need to hook these up. And we've got two of them. And this one here screws on. It's an old type. Not bad though. I've got it uh, cobbled up so it works pretty good. And uh, I'll show you the things we need to look for too. Because this after all is the, uh, the instruction manual. And I've got my other spark plug plug wire. Alright, we always want to maintain a check of all of our hoses and uh, wires to make sure we have everything okay because what I want to show you is get on here and and uh and as BB check it. Okay, there you go. Okay, now this is an experimental nozzle which will go on the end there. Basically, this is what we have now. We need to look for and the spark plug wire to be a tad shorter actually. And but anyway, this is the mechanism. Now we can we can blast our way this 
way or oh, okay we lost that one this wire is not long enough okay I need a longer wire there but anyway uh, because that's what we look for uh, this one here it's okay this wire here is of sufficient length this is of sufficient length and uh, for our complete uh, now, oh, yeah, it's, it's, you know, you get, you get, you know, use a little bit, and you know, they put this together, you gotta, this is the, uh, pre, pre, uh, pre-jet, damn it, bastard. It's caught in the mud back there, it ain't made that, it's supposed to start like, it's a start up about, about in this position here even like this so you're off the ground before you come back to yourself any speed so you're holding her back like this for takeoffs you're holding back like this for when you get some speed up you let her slide back especially when you're when you're um when you're first taking off you need a lot of uh control and this uh this motion here will give you your your takeoff control and uh like I said, I don't have everything all tightened up, but this is the basic uh, instruction manual, and uh, I know I don't. I know I've got problems here, so I need to fix those problems before I can take off, and you will too. Okay, right now I'm trying to incorporate a a four-inch uh, motor into uh, into a suitable flying machine motor, as would be with the uh, the Scooty Jet. I like the Scooty Jet. My uh, my pup, Scooty pup, uh, is kind of like him, but anyway, because he can run around the yard. Um, okay, I need some good footage here of uh, some of the stuff. Now I can't get anything with me riding it because I need somebody to help me um, photograph this stuff. But uh, this is the best I can do for you. And uh, let's see what else is there. I guess pretty much it. It's ready to go. Um, to go, all you need to do is, well, have your battery on, or I plug this in. And, uh, and then you flick the switch. And the ignition starts. And, um, and then you uh, run the fuel from these nozzles here. And you have to be really careful because these are really sensitive. And uh, you have to warm up the motor slowly because when the motors get warmed up, um, they burn the fuel or the, the fuel becomes more explosive or whatever. I mean, you know, when it's cold, the fuel can go right through the motor and not even do anything. But uh, so you need to, especially in this system, so you need to be very careful and open them slowly until the uh, explosive resonation process begins. And uh, you can use the, uh, there's different reasons. Sometimes they use the lever for experiments and stuff. And uh, sometimes they just uh, usually use the knob for running this because this is quite uh, precise. And uh, you need to, because uh, you're getting liquid, your liquid, liquid will come from the, 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 uh, the tank. And it'll go up here to this junction. And then from the junction it will go over to the valve. And from the valve, it goes down this plastic hose, which will become so cold that it will make frost. And then it goes to this copper wire, which will be uh, real hot. Not real hot, but, you know, hot. And uh, like a lawnmower hot, you know, a lawnmower engine hot or something like that. And, uh, and then the uh, fuel, which is all hot, and it'll come squirting out of there. Well, if you turn the nozzles open too quick, then uh, too much liquid will get in there and then it'll, you know, too much fuel will come out. So you got to do it slowly so you get right there and then leave it. But you know, you can tune it in a little bit, but you, once you get a good explosive resonation and you'll know it, you will know a good explosive resonation when it begins. Um, my videos cannot, uh, cannot, cannot really uh, tell you what it's like to uh, have these things running.